Alrighty, hello boys and girls, how's everybody doing back in uh, Starfield? Uh, sorry for the delay, but I had to go through, <laughs> uh, go through a hurricane <laughs> and uh, survived, obviously. And I uh, hope anybody else, if you're watching, was in the path. I hope you did okay too. But anyways, let's just uh, get right to this. I know I don't have to do it this way, but this is actually my second attempt. I um, was having trouble. The lock, that should be it, right? Because the key is the satellite. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Land. Okay, yeah, because it, it, it wasn't giving me the land option. When I tried to do it, just the through the through the menu screen, I guess. I I've also uh, went ahead and completed Sam's storyline, and have I'm going with no companion because I think there is a. A um, Crimson Fleet companion you can get. Alright, let's see. We're going this way. I guess I don't really need my gun out, but. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. Kurt, just keep your mouth shut. Uh, I, I always keep my word. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Oh, I'm Whatever out. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative. Bring it straight to me. Uh, <laughs> sounds simple enough. It's <laughs> so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. That's what I'm saying. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. You're the boss. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Understood. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. At least he's moving at a non-leisurely pace. Cover me. Oh, shit.
Oh, we're surrounded. Where are they all? I'm gonna guess these if these are young ones, there must be some mature ones somewhere down the line. You know what I'm gonna do something I'm not supposed to do. Too little yeah, nothing. Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The lock. I'm ready. Problem is that we don't know what's inside, exactly how long was Jasper. I'm ready. Yeah. He needs to get this thing open, like, right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. What's he doing Standing with his hands? Where's your gun, Delgado? Good. You get one of them invisible ones? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's gone. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. First time I've been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Good reason. How many people did the UC stick down here, Dal? A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much, but it was better than trying to survive on the surface. Not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Cricks to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. And Mathis better not be my new companion, I gotta tell you that much. Oh, they got their lights on, let's turn ours on. Our torch. Gotta know about that. Or that. I like this for the rest of your life. Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second! 
Yep, I hear that. Yes, I do. Huh? Yep, adolescent mitigation. Bigger. Oh shit, I thought I reloaded. Ah. Got a bunch more over there. Maybe they're outside. Wait, where's the god? Don't gotta go. There you go. Must be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. Oh, it sounds like somebody needs to grow up here. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? All right, come on, Mathis. Just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Uh, shut up and let me think. What's there to think about? Let's face it, we're on our own now. And we should continue to follow Delgado's orders. Find a way out. Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? The hell with that. I have a better plan. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Uh... Hmm. We know we're not gonna do it, but let's see. All right, I'm listening. I had a feeling you'd be on board. Okay, here's my plan. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Uh... Won't the information be worth more than she'd ever pay us? Hell no! Come on, we both know anything we find here about the legacy is going to be a dead end. If Neva wants to spend the rest of her life chasing ghosts, let her! We got more important things to do, like spending all of our money. Uh, not gonna happen. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. I feel like I should have gone down that line a little bit further, but... I also didn't I way through. want to... I mean, probably it's fine. But like I said, I didn't, I didn't want to... Like, overthink it and then... 
get betrayed by... Like, it was going to be the, the wrong move to make, is what I'm trying to say. Even though I think I probably could have still have gotten through to the end and then... If we get out of here, remind Use me to the thank you, God, up there us out to dry. And then we could have turned or killed Mathis. Hello? Quit screwing around and pick up! So the two of you made it, huh? It was a close one, but we're in one piece. Well, brush the dust off and listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? We got it. Yeah? You'd better. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. Too late, Delgado. Security controls. Override lockdown. Please be advised that all prisoners are to be classified as intended proper intake. Please be aware that we have a class 5 transfer occurring today. Jasper Cricks, he'll be arriving on Shuttle 5 with a full escort detail. This individual is to be immediately transferred to D Block after arrival. Do not attempt to search or perform standard medical examinations until the prisoner is in secure location. I urge all security personnel not to underestimate Cricks' ability to escape custody. All right, so we're looking for sub-block D. Attention, lockdown mode has been rescinded. They aren't paying us enough to be poking through this scrap heap. Well, you just started, Kurt. You gotta, you know, you're, you're at base pay right now. Power system controls. Activate D block auxiliary. Please be advised that we're taking all staff complaints regarding the intolerable temperatures within the log very seriously. Unfortunately, our facility has been provided with a poorly engineered heating system. Blah, blah, blah. Administration understands the conditions within the lock are less than ideal for staff, so we ask for your patience. Uh, in the meantime, portable heating units, body, blah, blah, blah. Security alert is being issued to all personnel has been brought to our attention that some of the prison population has discovered a way to create improvised weapons by covering chunks of permafrost from cell block walls. Thermal coils from portable heating units are being cannibalized and used to manufacture these dangerous items. Therefore, security has no choice but to remove the portable heating units. Extra blankets, cold weather gear, be distributed. If you observe any prisoner in possession of an improvised weapon, be certain to activate blue alert before approaching. Uh, I'd like to congratulate Brian Richard for winning last month's trivia contest. This month's questions are, what type of star pulsates rapidly, which cause it to vary in diameter, temperature, and luminance? What type, what is another name for a neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field that might occur after a supernova? What is the second brightest star in New Atlantis' night sky? What are the largest known structures in the universe? What is the graph called on which the intrinsic brightness of stars is plotted against their temperature? What over where? Okay, am I supposed to talk to you or? Looks like there's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out. Proceed to D block. Okay. This must be the only way. Wait, what's this? I don't care about the weapon. 
guess I don't think I do. Might as well heal up too while we got the opportunity. I bet those things are crawling right behind the walls. Ooh. I agree. Mathis. Don't say I never did anything for you. Okay, hold on a second. Are you kidding me? I forget you can have multiple options. For workable key. Unlock D block section three. Okay, due to ongoing security concerns, please adhere to the following procedures. Report the appropriate switch station, ensure there's a minimum of four. Use switch station intercom, provide the daily cipher code, wait for tower, activate switch, blah, blah, blah. D block has been designated as a high risk prisoner unit, which means it will be housing some of the most dangerous offenders. All D block security personnel thereby fully authorized use whatever force. If a weapon is discharged in line of duty, be sure to fill out the form. Please note that security has come across item in C cell D2106 be the catalyst for a possible escape. At the time I'm sending this message, that particular cell was unoccupied, so regular inspections weren't being performed, meaning that our team overlooked the contents. B, please keep this cell sealed. All right. Your funeral! I don't 
think there's anything worth wasting time on doing that. I doubt we'll be... in there but we don't need it d3 okay so we're looking for level two 106 credits What am I missing? I don't know. It keeps appearing and disappearing. All right. Well. What? This is reminding me of Generation Zero. I'm gonna wipe the floor with you! Okay, it requires a key. Which might be way on the other side of the prison. Damn, I hate losing out on a fight.
It's me. Actually, I do hear it. Oh, it's above me. level two yet to find that secret cache showers I'm not gonna bother looking through all the lockers One oh two. Oh, was this the one that had the cash? Wait a second. Wait a second. Was it one oh four? That must be this one. One oh three, right? Requires computer. I thought we did that. What? Oh, there they are. Oh, they can throw shit. Another one. I'm gonna go back to that original computer room because I was pretty confident that oh this is just okay here we go this will work let's see we are back at that original area I think yep here's the tower
Okay, block D, switch control. Oh, you know what? I guess that's what I needed to do. Alright. And I still don't know why this has a... Oh, there you go. Today, I bumped into someone in the mess hall yapping about a ship carrying a fortune and credits. I know it's usually bullshit, but he seemed to have details. After striking up a conversation, I found out the ship was a Galbank transport named Legacy that went down in some remote system during the war. This is exactly the score I've been waiting to find. I need to contact Carter to let him know it's time to get off this rock. He'll help the mining details slip into the utility closet and ventilation room. That's where we'll dig. Not up, but through. <laughs> right to the armory. Carter mentioned that security keeps rotating codes on all the terminals in the lock, so we'll have to coordinate this carefully. For now, we'll continue using his locker in the showers area as a drop point for the code to the utility closet. I should have gone through those lockers. <laughs> I should be out of this dump and uploading those creds into my account. Delgado was right. Briggs must have hit the Galbank transport and stashed away the money or something. Okay, now let's see. How did we get over there? Here, might as well. Looks like just weapons and stuff, so... Can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate to have been one of the guards. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There was another... Now that's the showers. 
kitchen. I could have sworn there was another. We did go through another like office area. While we're picking through the trash, we might as well grab some good stuff for ourselves. But screw it, I'm not gonna worry about that stash. Unless this is the... An armory. Looks like they cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. They sort of come in handy. All right, let's keep moving. Gonna have to put a stop to the prisoner birthday celebrations. I understand the morale. These events have come too destructive. Blah blah blah. What type of pul star pulsates rapidly? Cepheid variable. What is the name? Neutron star magnetar, cannabis, galaxy filaments, Hertzsprung Russell diagram. at the lock, and the place is continuing to go downhill. We've been dealing with heating malfunctions, communications issues with the key, faulty electronics, and unpredictable surface conditions. How this place manages to function at all is anyone's guess. No one's bearing the brunt of this more than the inmates. Normally, I wouldn't give a damn about them, but this is downright insane. I'm starting to get nervous that we're going to have a riot on our hands if conditions don't improve.
Ah, screw it. I don't care about the ammo case. Oh, jeez! Boys up! Incoming! That's it. That's kind of why I don't really care about that stash. Because like you said, that was like an expert lock and uh, it was just a bunch of junk. That was a good one. like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for a quick escape.
Hold on. Que carajos took you so long? Use the intercom. I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of it. Found information about the legacy. I'm not gonna get into that pit when I get on. They don't give me a choice, do they? <sighs> I knew it. Everyone said I was out of my mind, but something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right person for the job. Hey, what the hell? This is bullshit, Delgado. I help plenty. Is that Mathis? Tell him to shut up. I will deal with him later. Whatever. <sighs> okay. Now all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock, and I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Uh, I'd rather meet up so we can all leave at the same time. I want to finish searching. What about my ship? Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and get out of here. All right, you got Good it, boss. Answer. You're learning fast. Okay, let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the ISO process. Please stand by. Yup. That's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Why the hell did you lie to Delgado about me? You didn't do all this work alone. Been trying to get me to kill the god of this whole time. Sure, maybe I'll tell the god of what you're planning. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. You're right. Maybe I could have done more of the brain work. But hey, at least I helped you take out those things, whatever the hell they were. Right? Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Already forgotten. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I promise that you won't regret it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Man, I really kind of want to go back and check out the that cell block, but I don't have any faith in it whatsoever that it's going to be anything good. The way we came in. I'm gonna guess we're gonna have to fight a bunch of these creatures. Yep, there's one over there. Oh, damn. Go. It says it's right in front of me. Up oh, there you are. All right, you know what? Let's give the old college a try. All right. Okay, so this. It's the event supervisor. It had nothing to do with the cells. Or 
warp room. Unlock that. And I could have sworn I... I could have sworn I unlocked all the cell blocks, but... But they'll, we'll start from there, because that's what unlocked it in the first place. Yeah, there's nothing more to unlock. Presser messages. Down on the ground. Possible, I guess. But let's work backwards. See if we can't get back to that cell. messages. Ah, uh, here's that other control room I was looking at. Security controls. Override.
check this one out already. No, I'm not going to bother picking it. Don't see a computer there. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Why where is this computer? back at the tower again. I'm guessing it's like super easy, but I couldn't figure it out. I kind of had a feeling it was going to be like this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, get up off the ground. Okay, 
maybe it is time to bust out the shotgun. I think that pistol still does more damage, but shotgun feels better. that is there anything in the cargo hold credits nothing there Drink. Bog at the last Nova will be more than happy to serve. There you are. The hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up 
and over time, the location was eventually forgotten. It wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Uh, don't have much to go on. Legacy's real. Wish Crick's enemies were cryptic. How do we know someone else hasn't already found the legacy? Because they would be rolling in so much cash, there is no way they could keep it quiet. It's like hitting a jackpot. Not to mention, they'd need someone with Shinya skills to keep the crypto tracing on the currency clean. And as far as Galbank goes, I doubt they would bother. Their bean counters would be too busy weighing the loss versus recovery costs. Now, the legacy is out there, just waiting for us to find. I can feel it. We don't have much to go on. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Gal Bank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. Nice. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Kill holler. Legendary pistol. Always want to take a deep speed screws. Who's Rokov? Rokov is. <laughs> well, he's Rokov. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. So there is another way to get out of Maybe. the fleet. He has been using his long hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Uh, what's in the Galbank archives? It's not what you're thinking. It's more of an office than a bank vault. Once you're inside, you'll be able to gain access to one of their computers and find out more about the legacy. All right, well... Always wanted to take a deep space cruise. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. I'll get it done. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't mean that. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvorov in one piece. Uh... You know what? I don't care about Mathis. I care about making credits. But I got a feeling it's going to come back and bite us in the ass. Wait, why are you letting Mathis' future hinge on my opinion? Because you're the one that finished the job. You followed orders and you put your neck on the block to get that data to the key. As far as Mathis goes, I'm sure you had to drag him through the lock and prevent him from doing something as stupid. Um, you know what? I don't care about Mathis. I care about making credits. <laughs> Fair enough. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rock of Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. What do you mean, wrap things up with Mathis? Hell of a job you did down there, Rook. <laughs> 
Thank, Great. Good job. Thanks, Dell. Let's see, where am I going to? Oh, he's down in here. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look. What does this new pistol look like? Keel hauler. Ooh. 242. That is up. Okay, hold on a second. Staggering Berserker. Small chance to frenzy. Okay, so it's a six round mag. Like our uh, razor back here. But let's see. Okay, so the shotgun does 138. And oh, here we go. The regulator does 225. Our keel holler will do 242. Hmm, that's a pretty good upgrade. 242. 156. Well, you know what? I think we found a new replacement for our Razorback. As much as I like it, uh, you can't argue with those numbers. Let's see here. Kill hauler. My favorite. Yeah, right there. And that's why I pick up ammo that I don't necessarily use because I, we should have, yeah, well, we have at least 384. That's cool. I used a similar pistol my last playthrough. Now, how do I get out of here? Jazz about any ship upgrades. Nothing was the pirate ship. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. Give me your best shot, Mathis. I was only doing what was best for the fleet. If you're going to try blackmail, not going to work. Stay just to say goodbye. Do you prefer I told God about your little plot? Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? Going to show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. Give me your best shot, Mathis. Oh, I will. I can promise you that. Best part is, you won't even see it coming. Now get the hell out of me way. Can I just shoot him? Uh, got me! No. Yeah, I don't think there's anything you could do. I think he's going to always... Stealing from your own is intolerated. That being said, it happens all the time. But so do the consequences. I don't trust she like I got the thing The fleet's the only family you need. Maybe. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. It would help if I knew what you were talking about. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rolkov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the siren, swiping those gal bait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. And so 
The scalping executive, I'm looking for anything to do with that. No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. I can guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. Uh, all right, you know, I prefer to remain focused. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Uh, I'll get you the damn trophy. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. <laughs> All right, I'm afraid to ask, but why do you keep calling me Rook? Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. All right, well, that's later. fair enough. Now let's see what's this. That must be the way back to our ship. I don't think it'll work, but let's see if we can't just do this. Oh, nice. I remember when it first came out, it's like you could, maybe you have to be, if you're in your ship, it'll say like, um, um, you know, you have to undock before you can, before you can travel. And like I said at the beginning of the, re of the recording, I tried to do that to get to Savarov, but it wasn't working like that. Off, whatever the hell it's called. Sis Def Marines are the best of the best. I bet operations on the key are a clown show. Yo, back. So, how did it go? What's wrong, buddy? You have successfully infiltrated. Um, why are you surprised? Frankly, it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. Well, I've successfully infiltrated. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. <laughs> I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small guess matter. She used to be in the Crimson Fleet. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Delgado is searching for a Galbank ship named Legacy that was carrying some type of lost fortune. Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Uh, story or not, Delgado believes it's real. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. 
We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Supposed to board a starline and steal Galbag archive credentials. Why do you think Galbank is hiding something? Can you imagine the amount of embarrassment Galbank would have to endure if they listed a lost transport in the ship registry? Doesn't matter if that ship went down five or five hundred years ago. If news gets out that a bank has misplaced money, it would tank their value. And how did you know Delgado was with us at the lock? That one's simple. We monitored your ships heading down to the surface of Suvorov. In fact, when he returned to the key and you didn't immediately follow, well, we almost thought our operation was terminated. All right, I'm supposed to board a Starliner to steal the archive. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on... All of a sudden, it's turned into Manhunter, William the Peterson. ...the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, he never got there. Uh, how do you know he never found the legacy? Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Cricks wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency. Well, Ever. Shouldn't I put a stop to this by killing Delgado? And let Neva Mora take his place. Or Shinya Voss. Or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position. No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is truly a credible threat. I'll proceed as planned then. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Alright. Well, boys and girls, I think that's a fine place to wind things up for today. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw, and I hope I see you next time. Until then, pop a team out.